right, so we're on a new adventure today. Uh, I got a new permission, and uh, I'm basically just exploring the property, kind of see what's here. Um, I looked at an 1874 map last night, and it did show a couple of home sites further back, and then some on the other side of the property. Um, but I was told about an old roadbed that ran down through the woods, so that's what I come to look for. And uh, I think I just found it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that now. It's actually really interesting because there's nothing on this side of the map via 1874. So let's take a look at the roadbed. So I'm not sure how photogenic this is, but this I'm standing in the center of the roadbed and you can definitely see where the sides are cut down. And if we turn around and look up this way, I mean, it's very well pronounced. It's flat here depressed on both sides this would have been an old uh like an old uh covered wagon road it's pretty neat pretty neat we're gonna keep looking and uh see what else is here just kind of walk around i'm looking for bricks you know remaining chimneys bottle dumps um really whatever i can find we'll be back in a minute uh but the thing that, that uh, caught my attention about this piece of property was the elevation rises in the woods. I mean, they're just all over the place, and it's right here by the river. So I was kind of hoping for like a, you know, like an early colonial site set up here on top of one of these hills. So I just kind of came out, I was just exploring around, you know, looking to see what I could find, and I just came across something super creepy. Now, there is no road on any map that I've looked at as far back as 1870. So it doesn't explain what this is doing here. And I am at least three or four miles from any road that is presently in operation. I just came across a child cemetery. As I'm looking around, all I see in here are babies. It's super creepy. So I'm gonna turn you around and kind of show you what I'm looking at. We'll look at a couple of the graves and we're gonna get out of here before we get cursed or something grabs us. Let's check it out. So check this out. So right here is one, see that grave is only about four foot long and then right here beside it is another one that one's only about three feet long as is that one so let's see if we can get a a name off of here it looks like it says uh it's really hard to read looks like it says william carey born june 1st 1915 died June 12th 1915 yeah they died so he died on a couple days after he was born she was born William he was born let's check this over here this one's a little bigger no it's worn almost completely smooth looks like it says uh, born and died April 23rd 1908 and I can't read the name on it the stone is or almost completely smooth let's walk around and check out some of the other ones in here see what else we can find there's a couple over here there's one right here man it's just I can't get any detail off of that I mean it's I see the intentions of the name but it's just, it's just as smooth as it can be. Yeah, these graves here are well over, well over a hundred years. So 1908, I'm thinking there's got to be some older ones in here because I would have thought I would have saw a road on one of the maps. Man, they are everywhere. Look, there's another one here, unmarked. No headstone or footstone. Let's 
There's one there, one there, one up above it, another one behind it, one right over here. Man, what in the world do you think happened here? Where there'd be so many youngins in here. This is crazy. Man, there's got to be, there's got to be some adults in here, right? I mean, you would think so. But check this out. It's just to give you kind of an idea of how high up we are. I'm standing on a ridge and that goes down at least 60 feet. Perfect place for a home site to be. Let's see what else we can find in here. So that's that's about a dozen or two dozen or so graves right there. Up oh, here's a here's a footstone. I don't see a depression or a headstone. Yeah, here's some more back over in here. Man, I tell you, this is, this is creepy. I feel like something's watching me. Okay, here we go. So these, I would think, these are obviously adult graves. You know, they're six or eight foot long. There's two there, and then there's two over here. And here's a headstone. Let's see what it says. It says, mother. Okay, yeah, there we go. We got a, uh, says uh, Mrs. Charity Gorham, born January 6th, 1885, died July 7th, 1950 gone but not forgotten man I would not have thought that this would have been put here in 1950 because I mean just take a look around now, this graveyard has been long long forgotten and it is just overgrown in here that's a shame that is a shame you know we've got a, a family cemetery ourselves the Joneses and the Horns, and uh, we when we have a family reunion every year, we uh, you know we put out there for offering who wants to upkeep the cemeteries, and um, you know normally somebody volunteers to cut the grass and keep the upkeep of the graveyard, the stones clean and everything for about six months. So that was my one of my grandfather's wishes was to keep the the cemetery clean. So um, that's what we've been doing for several generations is keeping our family graveyard clean and i hope to uh pass that down to my kids one day and i hope they'll keep it clean when i'm dead and gone and buried in there so this is just a this is a shame really i hate to see um a graveyard like this so um we'll keep looking around it's really weird that there's only uh i mean there's obviously two adults right here but there's only one headstone, so there's no father. Uh, I don't know. We'll look around a little bit more and see what we can see. Maybe come across another one in here. Here's an overturned tree. I hope there's no bones sticking out of there. You don't see any human skeletons sticking out of there, do you? That would be super creepy. That would be really creepy. Okay. All right, here's another one over here. Oh, I got another one right here behind this tree that's turned over. Actually, there's a couple over here. Aha! This is a massive, massive graveyard. I mean, they are just everywhere in here. I mean, if you look right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten all in a row right here these have the aluminum planks on them so they would have had a name 
and probably a picture in there at some point in time man that's a shame that nobody wants to take care of this thing no more than this I don't think that the landowner is actually aware that this is back here uh, because he didn't mention anything about a cemetery and I did ask him I said well do you know of any you know old cemeteries or seen any bricks when you're plowing or anything he said no not to his knowledge so okay here's another one. Oh, this one's pretty cool check this out get this branch out of the way here so if you guys can see that it's got like a cross with a it's like sheep or cows maybe that's a really nice marble stone it's uh, J. Frank Vines he was born October 14th, 1861. So he was born right at the beginning of the Civil War. Then he died June 20th, 1945, right at the end of World War II. Gone but not forgotten. Man, he was born into one war and died in another. That's awesome. Thank you for your service if you serve, buddy. I'm sorry that nobody wants to keep up this this uh, graveyard no more than they do. Let's look around and see if we can find a couple of more, a couple more headstones. There's a lot of, I'm, I'm taking it that this must have been, a, some of the family must have been poor because the majority of the graves in here are unmarked. Yeah, you know, there's no, there's no headstone, there's no footstone. Uh, and they, I mean, they, man, they're just everywhere. They're all through here. There's one here, one there, one there, one there, one there. They're all through here. It's just a shame. We'll look around a little bit more. And, uh, and just see if we can find one more headstone. Looks like it's starting to... I don't see anymore. It's kind of opening up in here. The bucket, no bucket. definitely don't see any more right now but uh if i come across any that have good uh good dates on them and names i'll cut the camera back on and uh, we'll get some video on them but if i don't find any more we'll see you guys on the next one good luck out there <laughs>